Oh my gosh, you guys. I look as tired as I feel. It is six in the morning, getting going, and I'm gonna go as far as we can today to get back home. I said a prayer to help us be safe and to get us as far as we can because we really, really wanna go home. <laughs> We've had a really good time here with my family, but I miss Jason and I miss the girls and um, <clears throat> we want to be home in our own beds and uh, we, w we just want to be at home. So we are going to try our hardest to go home safely. Right girls? They're very tired. Chelsea's on the way back. Move your hand. Her foot. <laughs> Okay, they're gonna go back to sleep, right girls? And I am gonna put in my audiobook or music and just focus on the road. So wish us luck, you guys. While we for the moment to pass, I want it to start now, start now. I want this feeling to last. Keep it alive now, right now. It's been too long. gas first, okay? I don't know how else to explain it. And 
somehow I got through that 20 miles and was able to pull off at the next exit. Like there was literally not even an exit and I didn't feel safe doing, pulling off onto the shoulder of the road. So I got to the next exit and I was able to rest near a cemetery. It was really quiet and peaceful. There was no traffic, no nothing. It was a really small town. Jason called, kind of didn't wake me up. It wasn't necessarily a sleep, but I realized that I could sit and open my eyes and talk to him for a second and then my eyes were calm again. That's the only way I can explain it. They were calm again. And so I just started driving while talking to him and then he had to go do something really quick and so I called my sister and I talked to her for about a half hour just to keep my mind going and sometimes it's easier when I'm talking on the phone and it got better. So I kept going and I got to a point where I stopped and had lunch with the girls. You really can't see me very well, but I can't hold it with this hand for very long. Um, I stopped and had lunch with the girls and I realized I probably just didn't have enough protein in my system and instantly felt better, um, got back on the road, did a little bit better. And for the past hour or so, I've been deciding, trying to decide whether I should pull off and go to a hotel and just call it good for the day. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, but it, it's actually five o'clock my time coming from Utah. So I've almost been on the road for 12 hours, um, but we're not home yet. We still have almost two and a half hours left, which is really good. I'm doing well for the time that I've been on the road, but we've had to take a longer stop because I needed to stop and eat instead of eating along the way. I'm just rambling, but that's okay. But at the point where I was trying to decide if I was gonna get a hotel or not, I was on a farm road that I was stuck behind semi-trucks and I couldn't pass them. And my daughter was really needing to go to the bathroom and I knew I was coming down into another little small town. And I had the thought when I came into that little town, I was like, oh, this is silly. I should just continue on the highway to the next little town that has a bigger hotel selection in order, and then just call it a night and let her go to the bathroom and get a hotel and all that kind of stuff. We have medicine. And medicine. What do you need medicine for? My tooth, or not my tooth. Oh, she has a cold sore. <laughs> I don't have any medicine for her, I hate to break it to her. But I instantly had the impression, you need to stop right now. And I don't talk about this kind of stuff on my channel very much, because it's, um, it's sacred and it's, you know, it's personal. But I could not ignore this little prompting that I had. And it was more powerful than a nine-year-old telling me I need to go to the, that she needed to go to the bathroom. So I immediately found the nearest gas station and it was two minutes away from where I was. And I stopped and got gas. And the next nearest gas station from me was probably about 20 miles away. And I pulled in and I got gas. And I had half a gallon of gas left in my tank. I wouldn't have made it to the next gas station. Like I wouldn't. There's no way I would have made it. And so I think maybe my message of the today today is that I am listening to my instincts and I'm listening to these promptings as I'm driving and I'm pulling over when I'm prompted to pull over and I'm going to get gas when I'm prompted to go get gas and I need to keep listening to those and we'll see if I make it home or not. I don't know. Um, I've been trying to get a hold of Jason to look up some hotels for me so, while I, so I keep driving while I'm awake enough to keep driving and make a decision. Um, if I can go another hour and a half, I can actually get to his dad's second house that's kind of in the mountains where we've gone before and stayed. Um, but I don't know if I've got an hour and a half left in me. If I do, I can save myself a hundred bucks but I'm just trying to decide. So 
Anyway, just wanted to update you guys and give you an idea of what we're doing. The girls are being really, really good. Ashley slept for probably a good three hours or so, and so Chelsea slept off and on. She's doing really, really good. All right, that's it, you guys. I will update you next time I figure out what we're gonna do. For right now, I'm gonna drive. My eyes aren't having a hard time, and I'm not exactly super tired. I'm done being on the road. I'm sick of driving. But I think my motivation to get home is stronger than my desire to give up. So let's just keep going. While we for the moment to pass, I want it to start now, start now. I want this feeling to last, keep it alive now, right now. It's been too long. The chase has been drawn out in love. And we're almost home, right, Ash? A trooper i've never kiss. done it no you did awesome i've never done it all in one day oh the car smells a little bit <laughs> <laughs> are you that. kidding me <laughs> okay so we unpacked the car and the everyone's relaxed so now we're gonna go get food because everyone's really tired chelsea jumped into a shower cleaned up right chelsea yeah really tired so before everyone passes out we are gonna go and get some Red Robin because that's the only place we go with kids. <laughs> but uh, I'm really glad to have Dana and the little ones home. The two older ones are off at camp. girls camp, so we'll see them a little bit later. Uh, but otherwise, it's fun to have Dana home. And um, we're basically doing nothing, just getting ready for bed. And want to say anything? Um, ready to get you in bed. Let's get you in bed. <laughs> Ash. All right. Let's, let's get you in bed. Okay, we're gonna go to sleep. Subscribe and click the notification and give us a thumbs up. Bye. You ready for bed? Yeah. Alright, let's get you in bed. <laughs>